I think we started, when I put the camera on him, he started getting out there a little bit better. We'll see. It's good separation right there. The only thing is like right before you get that foot planted, we have made just a little bit of a turn so that we are just a shade bit more open than normal right here, I think, with the arm and the chest at this point. Let me look at another one. When he's been at his best, as far as this angle is concerned, the foot's down and the arm is still back behind the back. See, that one's a little bit better. See how much more of your back we're seeing right there? Yeah. The five. A little bit longer before the arm comes around. See, the arm's still back behind his back a little bit on this one. That's the best one of the three. Still is that glove being where it is too, a little bit of a weird thing. Yeah, it, I'd like to see it out in front a little bit more instead of kind of like pinned up against his chest at that point. So maybe a little bit more out here at that point. Yeah. Instead of pull, pulling back towards him. Remember, you don't really tuck the glove at least not many pitchers do most run into the glove so most have it out in front of them at that point look at this view <laughs> i call that babe ruth speed the old clips oh yeah he's like all flying around yeah <laughs> they were it was uh, faster than the original Light speed, good angles, really good trunk turn. I like how that foot's pointed and you're getting the heel down a little bit first. But can you sense, like right here, I just think we're a little bit earlier to already kind of have the ball start to turn over a little bit. Should be more like this. Yeah, I'd like to see you yeah, kind of in that guys. position right there. You know, right there would be a little bit better when he's first, when he's planted, instead of maybe a little early to go in the trunk rotation right there. So let me look at another one and we'll see how we can fix that. This part looks good. He's angling himself out, he's moving. So maybe a little bit later on the break. Or maybe carry your hands with you just a little bit as you move forward, then break. And then you're back like that with your foot already down. See your trunk starting to turn a little bit towards the plate before you can get your foot down. Everything else looks pretty good. I just think it, you're just a shade bit early to break out of the glove. Go ahead and move. Watch, watch this. I don't know if I showed you. This is Blake Snell. See how he's moving, 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 moving. And then he might break a little bit later out of the glove. See how you're already out of the glove right there. But look at where he is into his stride before the ball comes out. See that? Yeah. He's already here with his foot. So let your foot come down and start to move before we take the ball out. Cause look at what this does for him. Look at where he is when he plants. See how his trunk is really turned? Yeah. Right there. Let's angle back that way a little bit more. So you're there at this point. See, but look at your foot. You're still waiting to land. So all that time allows your trunk and everything to start to move and turn towards the plate, see? So you're a little open at that point where he's still back and closed. Okay, so let's go see if we can make that. Okay, so for bed, you want to be caught your strongest, most twisted position with your upper body versus your lower half. Yep, when you're down.
jump number two. bit better. Mm -hmm. See, it looks like his arm a little bit more still on this side, his hands on this side of the ball instead of already starting to flip it over. Yep. Yep. Your trunk's turned a little bit more right there, Daniel. Back still. Yeah, look at the break and then look at how you're just not rushing the arm. This one's even better. Look, what does it do to your stride too? Makes it longer. Yeah, see, he's he's encouraged mm -hmm. himself because he kind of feels his arm down and back to keep going. Look at that. You've created a lot more separation right there. Very good. Look at that one. Oh, no. That's really good. Longer stride, more separation. That's the best best of both ends there. All right, one more. Again, look at that. Just look at the trunk. Staying closed as you stride out. Good adjustment. I don't need to see the front view, really. We'll look at one. Look at how much longer we see 35. I don't even think I saw the, the number three on that first set. Leave the arm back a lot better right there. That's perfect. Yeah, your eyes yeah. look good too. Yep, look at that. Your eyes remain in contact, no jerking. That's good, perfect. You like this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Something a shelf like to push them up. Yeah. Stronger. The shoulders. Yeah, don't don't really think about your hand. Down type guys, down to the ball. Yep. See, on this one, you kind of unwind, see, as you stride. See, you're going down. The first one looked better. So you get to a weaker position right there. Your hands are already going forward to the ball. One really good thing I do see, Dan, your eyes are a lot better now. Yeah. I just gotta but, fix. But here, here's what I would change though. See how you're favoring like your back leg? You're going, you're starting already like this, okay? So what happens is when you pick up your foot, you're not going anywhere and that happens. Well. If you made the adjustment and just shifted your head to this leg just a little bit, see, instead of starting like that, you would move a little bit into your stride and then you would be stronger with this. Okay, so move this back to this knot and then your head is going to be more over this leg. He's got the right angle with his right. shoulders. It's just he's still... But see right there? His weight's move. on his back leg. Yep. See, so when you step, your head doesn't move. And so your hands come down and to the ball right there. So you end up in a weaker position when you landed than when you were when you started. And we don't want that. We want a stronger position at that point. So it'd be more advantageous to start a little bit more underneath your body with your front foot. So when I pick this up, I'll move with my weight and my stride and then I'll be here more than likely. Instead of, that's what I see on pitching and hitting 
that cost kids is most kids are reluctant to move forward so they sit back and it takes longer for their foot to land which allows this a chance to turn too soon what's the same and true in hitting if i favor this leg too much then i'll do the old test the water type stride which makes this collapse i want to go ahead and move like that so that i can get to this position which is stronger okay let me look at one more here a little bit later after we took a few let's look at this one you had a good turn yeah but i yeah see how you're still you're favoring your mm -hmm. back leg a little too much and then that allows watch before your foot can land look at how your hands this is better See, you're a little bit more separated right here on this one. See, that one's better. But it's still, I think you could afford to move, you know, with your stride a little bit more and not favor your back leg quite so much, okay? Yeah.